Holiday spending in Alabama this year is expected to hit $18.75 billion, up 4% from last year. That's according to the Alabama Retail Association. Now, Alabamians are sharing their spending plans for the holidays. And WDHN State Capitol reporter Matty Beer Temple is in Montgomery with the story. Even with concerns about inflation and higher prices, the Alabama Retail Association says a lot of shoppers are not cutting back this year. The national average for a family's holiday spending this year is estimated to be nearly $900, according to the National Retail Federation. That includes gifts, decorations, food, and other seasonal items. They're continuing to spend at a pace that is above last year. Um, but it is a slower pace than it has been in the last couple of years. Alabama Retail Association Director Nancy Dennis says a lot of people this year are shopping earlier and taking advantage of deals when they can. We've really seen this shift in um, the emphasis on Black Friday. It's really we're talking about a Black November now. So uh, stores and have started sales and so they, you'll see Black Friday sales probably every Friday starting this Friday. Dennis also says the tax rebates next month should boost holiday sales. For those who filed taxes in Alabama in 2021, individuals will receive $150 and married couples $300. Some shoppers, though, don't plan to increase spending this year, like Lana Culvert. She's shopping for her three daughters today at Sephora. We do three gifts each and then stocking stuffers, and we'll probably keep it about the same as last year. Now, the holiday spending season is considered to be the months of November and December. And Dennis says last year during those two months, Alabamians spent about $18 billion. Reporting in Montgomery, Maddie Beer Temple, WDHN News for the Wiregrass.